Hello everyone, this is Ashley and welcome to Philippines Update. For today's news, Governor Gwendolyn Garcia placed Cebu Province under general community quarantine status. Governor Gwendolyn Garcia has signed an executive order placing Cebu Province under general community quarantine, GCQ, which took effect on Wednesday. Although the IATF placed Cebu Province under GCQ with heightened restrictions, Garcia signed EO No. 41, released on Tuesday night, defining the protocols to be followed by the residents within the province under GCQ classification. Garcia said she placed the province under regular GCQ because the cities of Cebu and Mandawi were placed under this classification. It is not logical or sensible to have a different classification unless they forgot that we are on the same island, Garcia said in a press conference. Based on the IATF guidelines, areas placed under GCQ with heightened restrictions allowed indoor dining at 20% seating capacity, while fresco or outdoor dining are permitted at 50% capacity. Under the subclassification of the GCQ, tourism-related activities may also open at 30% capacity. However, in the order, Garcia said all establishments not permitted to operate during ECQ shall be allowed to operate at a 50% on-site capacity. But the governor required restaurants, spas, salons, parlors, and other personal establishments to ensure proper ventilation with HEPA filter and ionizer which must be installed proportionate to the floor area and ensured regular cleaning, disinfection, and sterilization using ultraviolet germicidal light after business hours. Local chief executives are permitted to lower the venue capacity of the concerned establishments depending on COVID-19 situation in their jurisdiction, and as the need arises, the EO read. It also required all workers to wear face masks and personal air purifiers at all times. Based on the EO, tourist attractions and activities must follow the previous issuances that put in place additional measures to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Under EO No. 13, the province required the use of HEPA filter and ionizer in tourism-related establishments and regulate the number of tourists per activity to five with two guides while EO20A required pre-booking and prohibited walk-in customers. With the GCQ status, the province only allowed non-air-conditioned passenger vehicles and required drivers and conductors to wear a face mask and air purifiers at all times. And that's all for our latest news in Cebu. If you want more update from Cebu please like this video. And also consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any updates from the Philippines. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.